Marijuana potency is much different today than just a few decades ago. It's an area of growing research, and now there's also growing concern over a possible link between cannabis, psychosis, and schizophrenia. Those at the higher risk are young men. Nancy Liu takes a look at the dark side of legislation. So when Johnny died, I was basically in a fetal position for about six months. Laura and John Stack are still coming to terms with the suicide of their son in 2019. The Stacks live in Colorado, the first state to legalize marijuana in 2012. His parents say Johnny became a regular user in his teens. He would say, what do you want, mom and dad? I have a 4.0. And it was kind of hard to argue with that. And he didn't seem to have any problems until he did. Compounding his problems, Johnny was also using pot products made with extracts that produce no telltale smell. He had started vaping and it was completely odor, odorless and from the, about the age of 14 through 17, we had no idea at all. By 18, Johnny was a heavy user, exhibiting symptoms of psychosis. He started to think that people were listening to him through his iPhone. He would buy burner phones and put sticky notes over the webcam saying that people were watching him. Uh, began to think that the mob was after him. The stacks are now left to cherish photos and videos, including Johnny reciting a poem three days before he took his own life. You always say never. Have my view. Don't. Since the spread of legalization over the past decade, a number of studies have looked into the health impacts. The latest is a Danish study co-authored by a director at the National Institutes of Health. If it does produce psychosis and acute psychotic episode, that can be very, very terrifying. And so someone may um, con con basically kill themselves in a very impulsive act. In the study published this month in Psychological Medicine, researchers say there's enough data to confirm that a, quote, association between cannabis use disorder and schizophrenia is stronger in young males than females. That period of transition between the three teens and the 20s, which is exactly when you start to see the emergence of schizophrenia but the risks are significantly higher for males and females. Marijuana legalization has ushered in a new generation of potent pot, which contain much more THC, the part of the plant that induces the high. Back in the 70s, the average plant had a THC level under 3%. Genetic engineering has pushed the average up to nearly 25%. They've done studies in Europe where they've administered purified THC to subjects in a clinical study, and they found that 40% of those who with no family history of psychosis develop psychotic symptoms. Recreational sales are now legal in 22 states along with Washington, D.C. Only Vermont and Connecticut have caps on THC potency. He told us three days before he died that marijuana ruined my mind and my life. And I'm sorry and I love you. And the stacks now travel the country to warn others about the dangers of potent pot. A number of states are now rejecting legalization for recreational use.